Um, but before starting with the uh, different award categories, I would like to call on stage the head of the jury, Martin Kopinger. Nice Martin, offer. could you explain us a little bit what are the criteria for selecting award winners? Yes. Um, what, what are the criteria? The criteria, so usually you will not find a project which never happened in any respect. So there's something which has been there before. So what do we look for? We look for um, unique ideas, um, dealing with great complexity in a very efficient way, um, finding new approaches to solve some of the challenges organizations are facing. So doing something different, doing something smoother, leaner, faster, better than we have seen in other projects over the time. So this is basically what we look at. And clearly, it shouldn't be um, something which already had in the world. So it should, should be new. Right. Yeah, Sorry. and you know, in some cases, it's also quite easy. So if you look at some areas such as standards, yeah. uh, there are not that many new standards. Okay. And even then, on the other hand, they are usually, we always find something which is exceptional. Okay. And so it's really, you know, finding the, this, what is really new, innovative, creative, and bringing things forward. Okay, how long? How long? How much time did you need for actually identifying the winners once they have been proposed? How long do we need? So we, we get a, a number of uh, proposals. We read them. We discuss them. It takes, you know, checking back and forth. It's a process of some weeks we, we already go through. Okay, Not so that we take several weeks for a single decision, but it's really a process where we have a lot of people in, uh, check back and forth. And so you put some brain and some time in this process, so yes. it's, it's really something valuable. Clearly, it really takes some significant part of my time. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Martin. So, glad to have you here, Horst. What are the areas of expertise you're covering within Kupinger Coal? Well, Kupinger Coal might be best known as an analyst company, <coughs> an analyst firm, but I'm more working on the advisory side where business hits uh, technology, so when it comes to processes, roles, rules, and policies. So this is my job. Thank you. Yes, I'm the last speaker today, <clears throat> but we have plenty of time. <laughs> um, some of you might uh, know that, or I hope uh, most of you will know that, in some parts of this world, with a less developed uh, fixed-line telecommunications infrastructure, <clears throat> um, people have to rely very much on mobile, uh, uh, mobile uh, services in general, so not mobile phones alone. And uh, sometimes uh, <clears throat> they come up with amazing results. So, uh, you might know that in vast stretches uh, of Africa, the non-existing uh, banking system is replaced by some mobile transactions. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> today, um, not surprisingly, we will award uh, uh, a project um, which is similar and uh, comes up with some astonishing results as well. <coughs> uh, so let me open this magic red envelope. And the winner is Dialog Axiata and Sri, Sri Lanka tele mobile, uh, Telecom Mobitel uh, <clears throat> for the project, project Mobile Connect. that uh, none of these two providers made this way to uh, Munich uh, this night. But we have uh, the well-known Prabhat, Prabhat uh, uh, 
uh, Siri Vandana uh, with us, whom you know already. <coughs> um, and he, in fact, uh, uh, is from WSO2, who was the implementer of this project. <coughs> and, uh, well, this project involves these two uh, telecommunication providers uh, <coughs> plus three service providers, and it provides a seamless uh, uh, single sign-on user experience uh, <coughs> uh, while uh, <coughs> uh, ensuring at the same time a banking-grade uh, security, which is great. Uh, <coughs> And uh, you, you don't have to remember any passwords. It's a single-click environment, and uh, it even supports uh, multi-factor authentication. But what is most uh, surprising is um, that the full launch was um, December last year, I, if I recall it right. And uh, from that time until now, <coughs> in a breakneck speed, uh, <coughs> the adoption rate surged, and now we have uh, about 14 million uh, subscribers. And uh, taking this into relation of 21, uh, oh, so, sorry, uh, 14 million subscribers, and setting this in relation to the whole population of 21 uh, million uh, uh, people. <clears throat> So this is nearly, or this is about two-thirds of the population, which uh, in this uh, four months um, took advantage of uh, these services. And uh, sometimes I have the impression that, uh, yeah, those companies they, that had a disadvantage, or those countries which had a disadvantage at first, may in the uh, area of mobile <coughs> services finally uh, overtake us here in uh, the developed world. So, <clears throat> may I ask uh, two short questions to you? Uh, as most projects have their ups and downs, uh, what were your major obstacles to overcome? And what uh, are the achievements you are most proud of? <clears throat> Yeah, uh, so first of all, it's my pleasure to be here and accept this award on behalf of uh, Dialogue GSMA and Sri Lanka Telecom uh, Mobitel. So yeah, uh, so uh, when we met uh, GSMA guys, uh, uh, Dialogue GSMA guys in uh, July last year, so they had a requirement to build a secure login system for mobile authentication that would let end users access their applications in a single click. And also, they wanted to expand this solution to multiple operators. Dialog is the largest mobile operator in Sri Lanka, which has uh, more than one million subscribers. So one again, once again, like, so Sri Lanka having like 20 million plus population, and the population won't have like one-to-one -one mapping between subscribers, like one person could have more than one subscriptions. So, so, uh, so it was the perfect timing to meet those guys because we just released Adin Serve 5 which had like almost all the features they required, but there are some missing stuff too. And we implemented uh, uh, the GSME OP Connect profile for OpenID Connect and also a USSD Authenticator. So once those implementations were completed, we deployed it against all the subscribers of Dialog. Once that is done, the second largest operator, mobile operator in Sri Lanka is Sri Lanka Telecom Mobitel. Then we deployed the solution over those subscribers too. So as you mentioned, yes, so we right now have only like few, sub, few, few service providers. And as we go on, we hope to onboard more and more uh, service providers. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.